recall. Yeah. Hot on the heels of the success of 1999's Blair Witch Project came Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2. Released in the year 2000 and directed by Joe Berlinger, it tells the story of a group of people who are caught up in the hysteria of the first Blair Witch film. Led by a tour guide, the group go into the woods where the first film was actually shot and a whole bunch of mysterious stuff starts happening to them. They have some lapses in time and some blackouts and not sure what happened during here and here and people are doing weird things and the whole thing was a real mess. This is one of those movies that is famous for being so goddamn bad but unfortunately not one of those movies that's so bad it's good. It's just bad. So there's a really interesting story behind the making of this film and a big thanks to my friend Tyrone for linking me to a video on YouTube called Exploring Blair Witch 2 Book of Shadows which I'll put a link for in the description below. It goes for 18 minutes something but it tells you the whole story of what happened to make this movie so bad? Originally the director Joe Berlinger didn't want it to be the movie that we actually got and his idea from the sounds of things was actually going to be a lot better but the studio interfered, added a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff and gore and violence and all that kind of stuff that they thought the audiences wanted and well it resulted in Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2 which is the most horribly titled movie of all time because there is no book of shadows. I mean, there were some books in the movie and there were some shadows, but the two had nothing to do with each other. Okay, so even though this movie is a complete catastrophe, at its core, it had a really good idea. I mean, when The Blair Witch Project came out in 99, yeah, it caused a massive wave of hysteria over film fans and well everybody I mean you couldn't go anywhere without seeing something to do with the Blair Witch Project it was all over the news there was merchandise all sorts of stuff going on and I like the way that this movie sort of tapped into that and I like that rather than being sort of a continuation of that story it treated the first film as a movie there were also some cool elements of you know sort of psychological horror in a way where like I said strange things do occur with our characters and half the time you're just not sure what's really going on and even though it was handled really badly and turned into a complete mess like you could just tell that at its heart there was a good movie sitting there waiting to come out. So what we were left with was a story happening to a bunch of characters that I just didn't care about whatsoever. I didn't really like any of these people and that's never a good thing for a movie when you're just not invested in the characters because I mean after half an hour of this thing I just couldn't care less what happened to them. Not only that the performances were a bit subpar as well save for a couple of characters particularly Kim Director who played the goth chick in it. I actually thought she was quite convincing and you know there were some moments where her character's breaking down that sort of thing and I, I felt a little bit for her but other than that, I mean, I don't know, everyone was just so stereotypical and two-dimensional. Apparently each of these characters was supposed to represent a certain element of society. You know, you had like the Wiccan girl who was meant to represent the way that the Wiccan community felt about the first Blair Witch Project, that sort of thing. And it's all explored further in the video I was talking about earlier, which I'm again going to link below. But yeah, I just thought all the characters just came off very bland and yeah, they really didn't work for me. But I just thought all the performances ranged from probably a bit too subtle to a bit over the top. And aside from that, all the stuff that the studio added in, the scenes of blood and gore and the stuff in the mental hospital and all that sort of crap, I don't know, it was just so unnecessary and it just made the film so disjointed. I mean that was the thing when you're watching this thing it's just not a cohesive story and it just went all over the place and it was very hard to follow. So this is definitely a classic case of a studio rushing in to try and make as much money as possible capitalizing on the success of the previous film and yeah it really didn't work. There is just barely any redeeming factors about Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2 and I am going to give it a 2 out of 10. 
And I'm only giving it a 2 out of 10 because, like I said, at its heart, it was trying to be a good movie. You know, you could tell that there was something in there about it, but yeah, overall, mm, just not really worth watching. In the meantime, let me know what you thought of Book of Shadows. I know that the movie does have its fans, and I absolutely appreciate that. I wish I was one of them. I wanted to like the movie, but... I just couldn't. So if you are a fan of the movie, please let me know what you thought of it. Drop me some comments either here or on Facebook, all of my social media links are in the description below because I like to talk about movies and I would love to talk about movies with you. I'll see you next time. Hey, hey you there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Click subscribe. You see the big word up the top that says subscribe? Well, click on it. Click on it now. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Go away, helicopter. You can't be here.